Hello fellow modelers, Bruce here. If you've been following along on a number of recent videos uh, featuring kit manufacturers of old, you know that I have quite a collection of kits. Um, in many cases, multiple kits from the same manufacturer. But every once in a while, a kit will show up on eBay or Facebook Marketplace uh, from a manufacturer that I haven't heard of, or at least can't remember having heard of them. And sometimes the uh, kits look like they have potential for either building as is or kit bashing and fitting into my time period and locale. And uh, I give it a go. Yes, I'm always uh, kind of interested in what else uh, you know was released before I got into the hobby and so forth. So I think this is such a kit. And it comes to us uh, via eBay from uh, Bixby, Oklahoma. So let's see what this is. Um, Especially if the uh, kits are as, what I think is going to be a small structure. You know, since these kits have not been built, I don't usually see a picture of what the end product looks like. And uh, sometimes there's no picture on the box and the plans don't show a picture, so it's uh, pig in a poke, so to speak. But uh, this manufacturer is Model Hobbies, all wood kit. And it's in the series called HO Wayside Structures, or that's the name of the kit. Looks like maybe there is two HO scale Wayside Structures uh, in this box. So let's see what we got. So again, the manufacturer, Model Hobbies. Not familiar with it. So let's see what we got here. Looks like they're out of New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. And one of these structures is an inspector's shanty, which quite frankly, looks like it could represent a, an old wood boxcar that the railroad has cut some windows and doors into. And again, it's the kind of thing that uh, can fit certainly uh, on my layout and in my era. And the other side is a yard office. Um, again, a, sing a simple uh, peaked roof. Uh, let me make sure you can you can see these. Okay, so a peaked roof, and uh, there's the inspector's shanty. So very simple kits for sure. Um, the fact that it's made out of wood puts it into my wheelhouse. Um, I see they've included some sandpaper in here. I would imagine that's going to be for uh, roofing. We'll see. I, if you've been following along, you know I often replace the original roofing material. There's some end walls and uh, some doors. Some strip wood left here, and uh, a little bit of reading before assembly here, it says, and uh, it's fractional lumber. I think you can see right here that the, uh, the signs can be cemented to the building or put on posts made of 132nd square strip wood. So they are um, not scale HO lumber, like scale 2 by 4s but rather fractional lumber. And this looks like it is a sheet of uh, black and white railroad signs. So, yeah, simple kit. And uh, the kind of thing I could have some fun putting together and either change the usage or leave it as is. And uh, 
You'll see me back on this video when I am working on one or both of those structures. So, yeah, I, uh, a kit manufacturer I am not familiar with. Model Hobbies. If you know anything about that uh, manufacturer or have heard of it or have one of their uh, kits on your layout, leave a comment uh, below the video. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, time for a quick update because I've done some research and found out a little more information on the Model Hobbies Company out of New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. Uh, I could tell that uh, since they had no zip code in their address, it uh, put them, you know, pre-1963. But with a little bit of research, I actually found somebody trying to sell one of their 1956 uh, catalogs on eBay. And uh, when I looked at the pages in the catalog, found out that this kit, which is... Um, the kit that is called their Wayside Structures for $2.25 um, was in that 1956 catalog. So that dates this kit back at least to that point. And uh, from a little more, a discussion on an online forum about the company, it looks like they were in business from... Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, somewhat the mid-1950s up through the 1970s, and uh, issued a number of kits, most of which were uh, structures that would be at home on the uh, anthracite roads and uh, other railroads of uh, the Northeast. In fact, and if you remember in the first part of this, I said this looks like it might have been uh, a structure that was converted by a railroad from a uh, an old wooden box car. They say right in their uh, plans for the inspector shanty that the prototype was converted from a 36-foot wood sheathed box car by the Reading Railroad and is used at this point in the mid-50s as an air brake inspector shanty in their yards at Rutherford, Pennsylvania. So it was a prototype structure. Uh, just a, a quick look at uh, what the parts are made up of. Don't forget there's another structure entirely. There's the yard office uh, structure, uh, which I will uh, build shortly. But right now I'm working on uh, this inspector shanty. They had uh, cut out the two windows in the front, one window in the back, uh, three doors, two in the front, one in the rear. Those were not totally cut out. They are uh, die cut almost all the way through. I did open up one doorway so that I have the option of uh, mounting that door partially open. They provided flooring. They provided the roofing. And you can see the ends are the ends of the old boxcar, and this roofing will fit right on there. So, yeah, what I will probably do is add a little bracing on the interior. I will leave the outside, which this is a plywood, a very thin veneer plywood with a textured front to it, grooved front. Looks good, like the color. Um, what I have decided to do is uh, on the window, door trim and corner trim, and probably on the ends of the roof, um, use a dark brown as the color. Uh, that'll contrast you know, fairly nicely with the, with the brown of the of the walls of the structure. And the structure is meant to sit up on top of, uh, uh, I'll call them railroad ties, uh, as a base. So I will do that. There is a smoke jack provided, metal casting. These are the corner, they look like uh, angle iron, but they're made out of wood. I'll color them the dark brown of this trim. And uh, by the way, I'm not painting those, I'm using a uh, a marker. And this is just from Guardsman Furniture Touch-Up Kit, their darkest color. You just color that. You don't have to wait uh, for paint to dry. The uh, windows are just printed on uh, some type of clear uh, celluloid, and they're meant to be glued onto the rear, which is what I will do. And then I will put some of this window trim. 
So, so far, the only deviations I plan, besides some interior bracing that you won't see, is uh, instead of using the 132nd by 132nd inch uh, strip wood, fractional strip wood, for the trim, I'm going to use some 1 by, I decided, eh, I'm going to try to use the 1 by 6, I think. Could use 1 by 4. Got plenty of both in stock. So I'll trim out the windows and doors. I'll probably set one door partially open, glue the four walls together, uh, put the base in, put the corner posts on, and then when it comes time to do the roof, instead of using the now very discolored sandpaper, which is probably a collector's item as it is, it says, uh, Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing, St. Paul, 6, Minnesota, and uh, made in the USA. That's probably, uh, again, has to be 1950s vintage sandpaper. So. I think I'm going to use Campbell shingles. It's uh, contemporary, and I think it'll look good on this. So That's my thoughts right now. I could use tar paper. We will see. So I'll come back um, when I've done... Uh, part or all of the assembly and finish this video up. Talk to you then. Okay, time for another update on the Model Hobbies uh, Wayside Structure Kit that I'm building. If you recall, this one was a repurposed uh, wood sheath box car that the Reading Railroad had used uh, in their uh, yard. And I got to tell you, it has been fun working on some materials that uh, you know, just aren't used much anymore uh, in creating a model like this uh, thin plywood, commercial plywood, um, that is used for the siding and has nice ribbed uh, look to it and so forth. So. Yeah, it's old school, but, uh, you know, with the printed windows on acetate and so forth, it looks actually okay. And uh, what is uh, still to do, and you can certainly see its lineage here of uh, being an old boxcar, uh, what is uh, still to do is to uh, take these, to, uh, they're going to look like railroad ties, and it's going to be sitting up on... Uh, one layer, I guess, of railroad ties. Um, I got the uh, roof uh, covered with uh, tar paper, so we'll have a tar paper roof on it. And I'm, I've painted the smoke jack, and uh, yeah, it's it's coming together quickly now. So uh, we'll do that, and we'll get some steps made, and uh, probably out of railroad ties as well. That's what the kit suggested. I have uh, some bracing that uh, they did not call for, but it's my typical way of uh, bracing a, uh, a roof. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So when you see it next, it should be done. And uh, easy enough to fit into uh, my engine servicing facility on the uh, Slate Run Railroad. And uh, it'll look right at home there. Probably put it close to the, to the backdrop with some railroad supplies in and around it. And I have one door modeled slightly ajar. There'll be a gentleman going up into there. And uh, that's where we are. So yeah, a 66 to 67 year old kit um, that's been sitting around, made its way a good part across the country, back here to Michigan, and finally getting assembled and will be put on a layout. You'll see it when it's complete. Well, here we are, folks. There's the HO scale inspector shanty made by Model Hobbies some 66 years ago. Uh, built as designed uh, with just, I guess, two modifications. The first one is that instead of using the sandpaper sheet that they provided for the roof, I used my go-to for tar paper, which is uh, craft paper. Did a video on that if you want to look it up. Um, 
Other than that, the only thing I added was the uh, gentleman standing outside the door, and uh, I put on a couple of uh, uh, lamps over the, the two doors. Other than that, built just as designed. Another fun build of a very old kit that still stands up to time. So. If you ever see uh, one of these kits by Model Hobbies on eBay or one of the other sites, I would not uh, hesitate to give it a try. Have some fun. Okay, take care. As always, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet done so, please subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, talk to you soon.